Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the movie realization Star Wars Ronin Bubba Fett figure. And this is by Bandai and this is from that Samurai line. And I just really found out about the older ones. I knew the newer ones was the um the Deadpool Wolverine and Captain America is like three years ago, come out three years ago, but this one about come out four years ago. And actually, the articulation is better on the older ones. And I'll do a comparison between this one and the, one of the new ones I'll do. Um, uh, the one I just reviewed. Come on. What's his name? Uh, Deadpool. Oh my God. Brain fart. Yes, but as you can see, the packaging. Bubba Fett, very nice box, as all the others, a side image of the figure, some poses, wow, and this Bubba Fett look like it might be the best one yet, let's turn the lights down some, okay, as you see, Ronin Bubba Fett, Disney so it's also slipcover box so here lay the box here and as you see Ronin I'll show you all the moving parts what to be careful of how to change everything out okay okay and this is him in package Lots of accessories. He looks awesome. I love the paint already. So, let's get this guy out and see how he is. Okay. And here is Bubba Fett. All out of packaging. And, oops, sorry. Wow. That's just all I got to say is... I really think the older ones are better than the, the newer ones. They also have double jointed elbows, as you can see. See, the newer ones have the ball hinge, and you don't get a, a true double or uh, elbow bend with the hinge ball joint. This is a hinge, but you got two hinges on each side, so you do get the double bend. Wow. Look at the coloring. Wow. And I'm going to stay calm because I don't want to come off as disturbing as I have been told. In one, in one, well, matter of fact, my venom. Uh, a review I was just over excited I was excited pretty much excited but yes look at the aesthetics of this dude man Wow this thing is dope dope man take a look at the back this is a floating piece this on a peg a hinge peg up top and got this this is also on a peg and this goes this armor piece goes over this to hold it on but wow Bubba Fett wow look at the shoes and all these will hold accessories these pieces right here will hold accessories I hope y'all can see them shoes man Dope. Dope, man. Yeah, so Boba Fett. Wow, oh, the detail, man. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to miss out on any detail. Look at the gauntlet. 
This is a four year old four years old figure, man. Wow. Awesome. As you can see the pig hole for his backpack. I just love the coloring. This is man. Man, the pouches. I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now let's go over Bubba Fett's accessories, which he has a lot. We're going to pull these out right here. Okay, this is his backpack. Focus on that. Dope. And you see that's the peg that goes into the peg hole. Nice detail on this. Coloring. I love the paint scheme on this thing. Wow. Okay. Let's see, can I get some of this stuff out? This is his gun. Look at that. Wow. That's dope. So I can say it's just dope. All right, this is his sword. So you can get that focus a little better. Focus in on that. Okay. So the sword looks really nice detail. This is the sheath. Okay, I love the coloring of that. Lots of hands. Okay, gracious. We have these hands. Okay, guess these be the weapon holding hands. He has two of these hands. Okay, great detail on this too. Okay. These hands. What extra two sets of the same hands? No, no, it's not. It's not. Okay, and they have these hands. Okay, close a little bit more. But you see the detail on all this stuff, man. Wow. Okay. And I think that's it for the accessories. No, it's not. We have these little daggers. As you can see, these are what's going to go in his boot. Above his boot, which I'm going to have them all accessory down. I'm putting all the accessories on. He has a little dagger. I have to find out exactly how all these go. He has this. Great scope and detail, man. Whatever this is, he has this one. They were all going his boot, his boots. So yeah, very nice. And this. So yeah, all of it looks good. Now that's all the accessories. Okay. And here is Bubba Fett with all his accessories on. And you do have directions. The directions will tell you which of the little daggers go in which slot on his, his uh, boots. As you can see, I do have them in. Just gonna zoom in on that. And that's that. So that's pretty cool. We have his gun in and his sword and sheath and you gotta be careful because these things will fall out they will fall out but still very cool where you can store them and also the bullet holes i thought that was pretty cool 
little bullet hole right there so yeah um in his famous backpack his jet pack looking awesome swivel that man, this thing is dope man damn so yes man he stored up with weapons man I love the gun I love that gun I couldn't even wait to get all the accessories on it now I gotta do the articulation and we'll start with um well no we won't We'll be right back for the articulation. But damn. No, let's don't go yet. Let's just let y'all look at this aesthetics of this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Just gorgeous, man. Boba Fett. He might be my favorite. I thought it would be Deadpool. But I, th I really think the older figures, I do like the articulation in the elbow a whole lot better. You know, a double hinge instead of a ball hinge. Sweet man, so sweet. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Um, we're gonna go over Bubba Fett's articulation, which I'm gonna leave these daggers and stuff inside. Try to anyway. Okay, so the head is on a double ball peg, mad range. Look up, look down, you get mad expression. That's crazy. Okay, the eyepiece here can come down. We'll Bubba Fett has somebody in sight. Get ready to take him out. I do like that. Great detail on it also. Man, thing is sick, man. So yes, pull that back up. So these uh, armor pieces on hinges pig just like a uh, Deadpool he can go up that much of course higher if you take these off but if you take these off these will fall off because they're just on top of the pig and these go over it the armor pieces okay you have a bicep swivel real stiff but it's there okay you, I think you got a forearm swivel, okay, double jointed elbows, okay, works good. You got a hinge wrist, I know my hand's covering up everything, but swivel that too. You got an upper torso, can go back that much, go look back down that much, and go side to side. Up. Ooh, a real little bit they not dynamic pose or uh, articulation but it's enough to get him in some decent poses this just looks so good to be a shelf piece you know get him holding all his accessories and just stick them on the shelf and just awesome man okay the, the legs these pieces right here are molded to the thighs but you still can get a little thigh swivel if I can get that right here, see that? You can get a thigh swivel. Okay. The knees are double joint. Okay. Try to mess with these without knocking out his accessories on his shin. <laughs> and you do have a, a, a knee swivel also. Foot hinge. Go up that much back that much okay and you have a rocker a little ankle rocker so that's cool so yeah not nothing dynamic but good enough main thing is just the scope and paint and the look of it is sick man this thing is sick Gosh, I think this is going to be my new favorite. And you see, you can slide this down, go back up with it, down. So it's on a hinge, the peg is on a hinge. So when you slide, you can 
it slides with it to give you more range to go up. That's pretty cool. Then you just put it back up when you put the arm back down. Or you look whew, very good. Very good. And like I said, this is on a floating piece. Okay. So Bubba Fett is sweet, man. Sweet figure. I think this is going to be my new favorite samurai. And as I was saying, I'm going to bring Deadpool in. Where I can pair the elbows. Okay. Now zoom in on this. See the hinge, the ball hinge against two hinge, two hinges. And see, this is all you're going to get for Deadpool. Okay. So I do like that better on Bubba Fett. And I believe Captain America is like this too because he's an older figure. But the Wolverine and Deadpool have the ball hinges. So you won't get a double joint elbow. But, wow, now we got them beside each other. What y'all think? Deadpool is sweet, but Bubba Fett, holy crap. Wow. So I'll show you guys how easy it is to get the sheath in. I'll go ahead and put the sword in right here. Okay. Get that in. See, it goes in right here. Okay, the sheath will go on the side here. I hate this thing uh, on a peg where it can rotate. Now that, it is like that on Deadpool. But this one is just stiff. It's molded to the belt. So what you do, you uh, just um, twist this thigh swivel in where you have more room and slide it in right here. Right there. And there you go. He, now he has his sword and sheath. He's ready for battle. God, man, this thing is sick. It's just sick, man. I like Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett anyway. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. You know, I always like Boba Fett, the bounty hunter. Yeah, this thing is sick. Yeah. And it's just to uh, you just take it to get his backpack on, just put it. Line it up in the peg hole and twist it, and there you go. Boba Fett's all ready for flight. So, this is a dope figure, man. Damn. Damn, and he's older. Wow, man. This thing is badass. Just badass. Yep, so that will be, no it will not. Sorry about that. Let's do a height comparison off this guy. Let's move all accessories. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's do a height comparison now. Which he stands seven inches tall, like the other ones, okay? Okay, and we're gonna get ready for some size comparisons. Okay, and here he is with all his counter partners. All the Samurai. Captain America, Samurai Wolverine, Samurai Bubba Fett, and Samurai Deadpool. You guys tell me in the comments which one you like the best. Damn, looking at all of them, they're awesome though. Awesome, but it, I think it will be me. It will be between Deadpool and Bubba Fett. I love Wolverine too, though. Gosh, man, they all look good. And here is Bubba Fett with Lionel of the Super Seven and Neca Leonardo of the Ninja Turtles. 
he does stand a little bit taller than Leonardo. Him and Lion know is about the same height. And here he is with SH Figure Arts Power Down Broly and McFarlane Devastator. And like Devast like everybody sort of complain they wish he was taller, but he's most definitely big. But still yet he's still he's still taller than Bubba Fett. And just by the hair, uh Broly is a little bit taller than Bubba Fett. Okay. So yeah guys, my final thoughts on this figure is different, but you most definitely see it's Boba Fett. And yes, it's in the Samurai. Um it's, it has the Samurai look. You know, not the true, true Star Wars look Boba Fett, but you know exactly who he is. It's different. I don't know. This might not be for everyone, but most definitely it is for me because he just looks cool, man. He's just a cool looking figure, man. So, yes, this is an awesome piece. Glad to have him in the collection. Okay, so if you guys got any questions or requests, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll be sure to get back with you. All right, all right, everyone, this is Custom Comments signing out. Peace.